Emperor Palpatine has been removed from Star Wars Battlefront 2. Have we entered a slippery slope, or did it have to be done? We'll talk about the state of the game and the decision to remove a hero next. We've entered an interesting situation. A hero has been removed from Star Wars Battlefront 2 temporarily. While I'm sure there's tons of doomsayers blowing up everything they can, and then there are those defending EA and DICE until the end, then there's us, just trying to figure out where to go from here. Personally, I'm torn on the decision to remove Palpatine. He was broken and honestly game-breaking, able to take out anyone, anywhere, even through walls. Something had to be done to bring balance back to the Force. Ideally, we would get a quick fix to revert back things that were changed from the patch, but that would require a client-side update, and that's not a very fast process. Releasing a patch takes getting approval from first-party systems like Sony and Microsoft, and the process normally takes a few days. Not to mention having to test in-house, not that EA or DICE would, but again, ideally, you would want to test any client-side or server-side updates in-house to prevent any further bugs. At the earliest, we'd be looking at about a week of Palpatine ruining the experience for everyone he plays against. Having something so broken makes it so one player can basically win the match, and having it stay a few days, let alone a week, could really kill a player base. Even last night, I was debating on whether to stream Battlefront 2 or not, since all the games that I played on Wednesday resulted in frustration when playing on the light side if one player playing Palpatine could basically win the match for the opposing side. With the removal of Palpatine, however, when we streamed last night, we did notice sometimes where it would have been nice to have a Palpatine to help clear out some rooms and choke points, but overall, the experience wasn't that frustrating to play, and it felt like a normal night of Star Wars Battlefront 2. On the other side, I fear that we may have entered a slippery slope, is a possible argument to take here. Where we removed Palpatine who is bugged, where does it stop? Each patch has a new bug in it. It's a fact of life with Star Wars Battlefront 2. So every patch, we're going to run into an issue where the strongest heroes could possibly be removed until they're temporarily fixed. Or will a gun be removed if enough people complain about it like the DC-15 LE? While I don't feel this is necessarily the case, and the slippery slope argument can delve pretty deeply into crazy town pretty quickly, it is something we need to be mindful of as players. While I'm not for the removal of any content, sometimes, it may need to be done, but at the same time, it is something we need to really be on the lookout for, and we as a player base need to really think about is it worth losing a piece of content to keep the game balanced. While I don't feel that EA and DICE put bugs into the game on purpose just so that they can fix it, that's not a level of paranoia I'm willing to sink to. They're clear failure on the QA process right now. The state of the game now, as of the July patch, is worse than it has been previously. There are more bugs, more glitches, and plenty that have just become part of the landscape they've been around for so long. With that, I do not feel that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is beyond saving. A quick fix to this current issue and a solid pat with no game-breaking bugs like the DC-15 LE or Palpatine glitches that have come out recently, this game can be back on its feet. It's just been knocked down a little. Double XP this weekend is also a decent start for recovery. While it won't help a lot of players that have been playing since the release like myself who have everything almost maxed out, it will give newer players a chance to to catch up, which helps with the longevity of the player base. There are other things changing as well. Ben has said that there's going to be some changes to the stamina coming in a hot fix, as well as the hard lock bug for Starfighter. There's no ETA for these bugs, but there is a quick recognition that there was a mistake that was made, which is progress from EA's usual silence on these matters. Well, I know this was short, but I'm going on vacation tomorrow, so my motivation is somewhere. While I'm gone, though, Go over to Moonbilge over on Twitch. He'll be taking over the Greeny Weenie Brigade invites on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and really any night he streams. You know, you don't need to just play Tuesdays and Thursdays. So be sure to add him to your friends list so that way you can get your invite. And then also check out his stream on Monday. I'll be putting out a video of other YouTube channels you should really check out if you haven't already. These channels are going to be around 10,000 subs or less and definitely deserve more attention for the content that they put out. And since we're all about community on this channel, I really want to show some, some love and show some support to channels like myself who are starting out or just growing. Since the stronger the community is, the better this game can become. I greatly appreciate your guys' time. I hope you have a great week. I will be away from my phone and computers. Well, I'm going to try. I may have an addiction but we'll keep that between us. And remember, I'll see you in game.